Hi YouTube, it's Erin and uh, I'm just making a quick video to tell you guys about, about, do I sound Canadian when I say that? About. Um, you gotta say a boot. A boot. That's Steve in the background. And you'll have to forgive the fact that I look, this eye looks really tired. This one's not so bad. This one looks like really tired. But you know what, it's actually quite perfect because this video is about our no cry sleep solution. So what we've been doing to sort of like sleep train Willow and um, before I tell you about what we've been doing, let me tell you why we decided at 13 months, almost 14 months to sleep train her. So our daughter has always been kind of a kid where she um, didn't really have like a set routine. She would nap whenever, go to bed whenever. Which worked for us in a way um, because, you know, we I tend to be a night owl and I like sleeping in. So she would stay up until like 10, 11 at night and then sleep until like 9, 30, 10 in the morning. And so it was great, don't get me wrong. But I realized quickly that like if Steve and I ever want our evenings back, you know, to actually be able to spend time together, we needed to make a change. So, and I just noticed too that like she would get very irritable and it was, it was very hard to plan anything because you never knew what time she was going to go down for a sleep or whatever. At. So anyway, we decided we were like, okay, fine, we're just going to do this. We're going to, you know, make an effort. And the turning point for me was um, Steve, Steve uh, shifts from days to evenings. So um, he, when he's working evenings, it's just me. And um, he gets home at like 1 o'clock um, in the morning, so he misses obviously all the bed, time routine, and everything else. So it's really, really challenging. And the very first night that he went back onto nights, um, and he had been off of nights for like a month, so we got into a quite a, you know, a routine, the two of us, and we would split up the tasks and everything else. But the very first night that he went back on nights, it was just me, and it was really hard because she didn't go to bed till like 11 o'clock at night, which gave me no time. Um, and because he's gone for a good chunk of the day as well, I really have no time because I also own a business, so therefore I work, and it's just really, really hard. So that day, it was a Monday, I was like, okay, things is, things have to change, and I'm going to start changing them tomorrow. So the next morning I woke up, Tuesday, and um, again, normally she sleeps till 9.30, 10 in the morning. Um, well, that's not true. On days when the nanny comes, she gets up at 8.30 because that's when the nanny gets here. But days when it's just me, she sleeps in. So I said, um, actually, bef the night before, when I got in bed, finally, I pulled out the Sleep Ladies, uh, Sleep Lady Solution, I think it's called, which my friend Nina gave me, um, and thumbed through it, read some you know specific areas where I knew we were having challenges. And then I also have Elizabeth Pantley's No Cry Sleep Solution, and it's on my iPhone. Um, so I grabbed that and again read through some things. They're very similar, the two um, books. And uh, I was like, okay, I've got some tips to start with. I'm going to start this starting tomorrow, like game on, you know, like I made the commitment to do it. So Tuesday morning, um, we got up and I woke her up at 8.20. So I was like, I don't care if you're still tired, you're getting out of bed. So woke her up and she was so not happy with me. Um, and they say never wake a sleeping baby. Well, when you're sleep training them, hells yes, <laughs> wake a sleeping baby. So I woke up at 8.20 and then, um, and I, I'm looking down because I wrote, I've been keeping a, a schedule for real of like every single moment of her day. So we had breakfast by nine. Um, she, I started putting her down for a nap at 10. Um, she was sleeping by 10.30. She woke up around noon, which was great, an hour and a half. Um, then she had lunch at 1, started her second nap at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, was up by 4.45. I was sleeping by 3.30, up by 4.45. And then didn't go to bed until um, we started the whole bath process and everything at 7. Um, started putting her to sleep, like nursing her at 7.45. She was sleeping by 8.55. So that took me a long time to get her to sleep. And then she woke up like three times. Um, 10.25, midnight, and then brought her into bed around 3.30. Wednesday was a bit better, so everything kind of moved up by about 15 minutes. Um, and then yesterday was fantastic. Um, yesterday we, so Tuesday I set, I set their alarm for 8.20 and I woke us up. And then the next morning I did 8.15 and I woke us up. 
And then yesterday morning, she actually woke up on her own at 7.30 because the night before I kind of forced her to bed at 7.30, like I took her to her room, nursed her, I would not let her get back up. You know, like I was like, no, we're not leaving this room. You're going to stay here until you fall asleep. And I did, you know, like I, I rocked her and did a lot of soothing stuff, um, which, yes, I know, you have to teach them how to self-soothe, and that's going to come next. <laughs> so Thursday was a great day. She woke up at 7.30, was sleeping by 9, like about quarter to 10. Um, I'm trying to get that nap a little earlier. Um, she was awake by 11, uh, second nap started at 2 o'clock, she was sleeping by 2.30 and woke up around 3.15. Um, so I have to get the naps a little longer, but the timing in terms of like the day, like getting up at 7.30 and, you know, etc. was a lot better. So last night I started putting her to bed by 7.20 and she was really sleepy and calm and it was very peaceful and not like our normal um, bedtime routines, but she had a really challenging time actually get, going to sleep. Um, so I'm not really sure what was going on, but she was kind of like arching her back and screaming out a little. So I'm thinking it was either teeth bothering her or maybe she was a little gassy. I don't really know, but I definitely know something was up. It wasn't normal. So anyway, I kept trying. Finally got her to sleep by like 9.30 which yes, was two hours later. It was really, really challenging, but I just stuck with it. Also in that time, um, I tried as well. One of the times I set her in the crib and she kind of woke back up, I didn't pick her up. So I just like put my hand on her and I, you know, did shh, shh, shh. And I said, go to sleep, Willow. And things like that. Like those are our keywords for like sleep time is like go to sleep, um, which I know, wow, creative, right? Uh, but anyway, um, so I tried that and, um, she did not like it. She was crying and and I'm for no cry in terms of like cried out, but I do believe through this process, especially since she's 14 months, there's going to be tears. And I think it's very different than, um, you know, leaving the room and um, letting her to cry it out. I'm not, that's not for our family, but um, I don't, you know, I don't care if anyone else does it, but it's just not for us. So for me, I, knowing I was standing right above her and I had her hand, my hand on her and I was, you know, calming, trying to calm her with words, um, I was, I was like, okay, I'm going to count to like 70 in my head and very slowly and, uh, and let her cry a little bit just to sort of like start to figure out how to like comfort herself. So yawning in an, in a sleep video, right? Yeah, I know. Um, typical. So anyway, um, I eventually did have to pick her up and I rocked her and then I ended up having to nurse her because again, two hours, people. So I definitely gave it a good go, but then, you know, you've got a breaking point. So I nursed her back to sleep and she slept really good, um, really, you know, um, solidly. And then at around like 1040, so I know only like an hour and a half later, I heard her kind of cry out, but I was sitting downstairs and I thought, okay, I'm just going to answer this last email. I'm going to do it slowly. And then I'm going to walk up the stairs really slowly and just see what happens. So I did that. And by the time I got to the top of the stairs, she was actually back to sleep. So she, that was the first time where she cried out loudly and then like went back to sleep, which was like such great progress. So um, I came back downstairs and then around 12.20 she woke up um, and I did the same thing. I was like, okay, I'm just going to like go really slowly, you know, like I'm talking like two minutes, you know, of letting her just kind of like fuss a little and then, but this time she didn't put herself back to sleep. So I could, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I could tell the difference because, you know, her cry was escalating. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go in there before she gets too upset. So I went in, picked her up, and I didn't nurse her. I just picked her up and I rocked her and bounced her and she fell back asleep, put her in the crib, and she was back to sleep. It was fine. Um, and then I think she woke up. Steve, what time did she wake up at? When I got her? Yeah. I was around 5.30. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I thought it was like 3.30. No, 5.30. Oh, wow. Okay, good. So she actually ended up sleeping in her crib then from midnight, uh, but no, about 12.30 until 5.30 which that's awesome. I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah, because you were like sleeping, but yet you're like, oh wow, it's 5.30, she did so well. But you're really? Sleeping. Oh, I see, I don't even remember that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So that's 
that's awesome. So that means she had like a good five hour stretch and actually her being in her crib until 5.30 in the morning is the longest I think, like the er the longest she's stayed in bed. Yay, Willow! Right? Yeah, because normally she comes into our bed anywhere between like 1.30 and 3.30. Yeah. So 5.30 is really good. Wow, that makes me feel even better because I was like, I had written down 3.30 because that's what I just assumed she woke up at. Um, yeah, so, and then, and then, so we pulled her, pulled her into our bed at 5.30, well, Steve did, and nursed her back to sleep, and then, um, she woke up at 7.30. So, we're definitely on a great schedule now, um, time-wise, and now the next step for us is just figuring out how to help her to self-soothe. So, um, we're going to be implementing that, and as you already heard in the video, like, I've been trying to at least let her, you know, suss things out a little bit, um, but stay right beside her. So that's where we're at. I'm still very tired because Steve, um, excuse me, with Steve working nights, it's like, um, you know, I'm doing it all by myself. So um, I think there's pros and cons to that. Obviously the con is like you're doing it by yourself, but the pro is that it's one parent, which means that everything is very consistent and she knows what to expect at every second of the day um, with one parent. With two, you know, things get mixed up, but um, we're actually going to write out a schedule, print it out, put it on the fridge, I'm emailing it to Steve so we can keep her like, you know, bang on um, the schedule. And it's gonna be really annoying for our family and friends for a while <laughs> that wanna see Willow at certain times and etc. but we have to do it because it's just really important to our family to get us on a schedule where she's sleeping really, really well and in the best mood she can be in and we're getting some time for ourselves too. So so that's it. I know I've just rambled for like 12 minutes, but hopefully there's some stuff in here that I've said that helps. I don't know. If you have questions though. Hi. Hi, baby. Do you want to come say hi? Um, yeah, hopefully there's some stuff that helps. Uh, if you've got questions, post them. Come here. Come say hi. <sighs> You got yogurt all over your face, but you can still say hi. You getting ready for your nap? You can see those little bags under your eyes are coming. Can you say hi? Yeah. Hi. That's YouTube. Do stink face. <laughs> You're so funny. Dada. Dada? Where's Dada? Hi, YouTube. Um, so yeah, so anyway, leave a comment if, you've, if you have any questions about what we've done so far. And uh, I'm definitely going to make um, other videos to tell you how other things go. Um, Willow, where's Willow? Yeah, you! This is Willow. Where's Dada? Dada keeps jumping up. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go. I, uh, that's it. I'm really excited about the progress we're making and um, I'm just sticking to it, even though it's really, really hard. So, anyway, bye!